What's up, folks? We're gonna be going through the Killer Dock fish cleaning station today. We're gonna be putting it together, and uh, this is gonna be your first look at it. A lot of people's first look at the Killer Dock uh, cleaning station. And let me tell you, excited to show you because um, it's massive, it's big, it's highest quality I've ever seen at a fish cleaning station. And we're gonna have Ryan, my fishing partner, he's joining us today. He's gonna help me put this bad boy down on the dock. That's right, folks, we've got Killer Dock. I reached out to them. They said, hey man, let's team up. And I said, man, let's do it. And this thing is top notch. So Killer Dock has several different fish cleaning stations. There's a five foot, an upscale five foot, an upscale six and a half foot. And then there's also an upscale eight foot. And I believe they can do custom fish cleaning stations for, for anybody's needs. But those are basically their, their, their commercial available sizes. This is a six and a half foot upscale six and a half foot. It is. Now before Ryan gets here, um, there's some accessories that you can get with these cleaning stations. You can actually get drawers. I have two on this one. You can actually have a sink installed and you ha also can do what they call, I think it's an accessory tray on the sides. And we have two of them that they'll have their hoses so that you can clean off your fish cleaning station when you need to. So, but probably one of the most incredible and awesome things that this provides is the actual holes in the back corners are actually paired up with the legs so that all your debris that you're pushing off here, including the water, goes in those holes through the leg. And I'm gonna show you this later so that you don't have to have it dripping down. The wind's not affecting that water. It's not blowing it back into you. So we're gonna go through that when Ryan gets here. But today, right now, before he does, we're gonna take off this uh, cellophane and um, get this bad boy ready to go. Excited, gonna be put on the dock today, and then hopefully we have some time to fish after to give this bad boy its first workout. So when I first reached out to Killer Dock, I was really interested in the upscale eight footer. And I'll tell you what, Folks, I was taking about how big the six and a half is that I've got right here. So I'm very pleased with the size. It was the correct sizing for me. Easily three people can fit on this fish cleaning station. Now, if you guys are interested in any of these products, you go to killerdoc.com and they'll hook you up. But I'll tell you, this is a six and a half footer. It's massive. The legs are incredibly big too. So I can't wait till Ryan gets here, but I'm gonna need his help to put this in the back of the truck. We're gonna drive it down to the lake and we're gonna put it together. But check out this cutting board. This cutting board is like five foot. I mean, it's a massive cutting board. And those are the holes right here that your debris will go down the legs. It's definitely not a one person deal. Hold on here one second. All right, here we go. Right there, it's getting up. Like she's not going anywhere right there. So obviously this is commercial grade. This is something maybe a city would want on a commercial dock, that type of thing. But if you are a homeowner and you're on a lake, this is the cat's meow. This is the top of the line. It doesn't get any better, folks. Uh, it's beautiful looking. It's well constructed. I'm, it, it's, it's sturdy. It's meant to handle big time traffic. And we're looking forward to put it to good use here on Lake of Egypt. So the very first thing that we needed to do was get the legs attached to the top table. What this did was actually put the legs in position so that we could then figure out where our holes and what's going to line up on the dock. So that's our priority first. Without a doubt, this is a two person job. So if you do end up purchasing a killer dock, which I totally would applaud and, and, and recommend, um, look at the size of those legs, folks. It's, there's, these are no joke. They're beautiful in the first place. They're like pieces of art. And, uh, but the first time you have to get them attached to the table, that way you can line up your holes on the dock that you are going to be assembling it on. So a lot goes into installing the fish cleaning station. I wanted to make sure that it was as stable as possible. I did not want to rely on these concrete pavers to actually uh, just, just make sure that it's stable. So we actually added reinforcement to the dock itself, added some additional steel. We were actually drilling through 
uh, extra pieces of steel just to make sure that that could occur. So none of these holes here are just through the concrete. We actually added other strips of steel to make sure that stability was our number one priority. Although I have to tell you, I was extremely impressed by how balanced the table is. So, but you know, what's nice is that we went up there, we kind of dry fitted it, made sure that it accommodated the dock so that we were getting into as much steel as possible. And as you'll see at the end, it is extremely stable. All right, so without a doubt, this is a two-man job, without a doubt, minimum two men. Um, what Ryan is doing right now, he's finishing up the two-inch holes that have to be put in for the water that comes into the fish, fish station. The drain holes are these guys right here, and it goes all the way up the length of this guy, and it's on top of your fish station. I'll, sh I'll show you that when we get it set up here. But the holes are drilled into the concrete pavers, so we're moving along, but obviously sweating. So after we got the holes drilled and we were ready for the fish cleaning station, we started working on plumbing, which of course is important. I wanted running water from the house. So I actually had it plumbed out to the dock. I chose not to use water out of the lake just because, well, that's just something I believe in, having some fresh water out there if you need to wash off your boat, that type of thing. But anyway, plumbing is next. That's our first thing. And then, hey, we're about to put this bad boy on the dock. So one of the cool things about Killer Dock is they come with these accessory trays. Cup, something to put your knives in, and then I'll show you the actual spray nozzles that we can use to clean off the Killer Dock fish cleaning station. Again, this is a six and a half. So it comes with the cutting board, which is roughly around five. We've got the drain holes right back here. And the beautiful thing about those drain holes is that they're, you can't see them. They don't, it doesn't just splash over and wind can catch it and catch you in the legs. It's to these nozzles right here, and that's where our our hoses will be attached. We'll show you that here in a second, but let's put this accessory tray on first. Nice. They're gonna be handy. They're gonna be able to hold all sorts of beverages, I'm sure, sodas and Sprites, or Natty Lights. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. So I wanted to kind of slow it down and show you these drain pipes. They go off the back. They're extremely uh, rigid, strong, big, and uh, they serve a function. I mean, in my last fish cleaning station, when I would throw water off the back of the table and the wind was in the wrong direction, it would blow and hit my legs. And so I'm really happy to use those. I can't wait to try them out. Now, lastly, the accessory trays. Now I have to admit, I have these on backwards. I have the wrong one on the wrong side, basically. They come with actually a knife sharpening tool underneath them. Uh, so when correctly orientated, that knife sharpening tool is in the front and your nozzles in the front. Brian, what do you think about the installation of the Killer Dock? Well, I'm glad the sun went down. <laughs> as soon as we started on this, the sun came out and it got hot, but now it feels good. And we're about to get it whooped. <laughs> we're about to get it whooped. <laughs> Nothing like good old stainless steel. So the Killer Dock actually comes with great instructions, but a lot of it has to do with going into wood surfaces, that type of thing. We were dealing with something completely different. The dock is made of steel. It is not something that's easy to drill through, uh, not to mention the concrete pavers. So we were going to, into a little bit different material, but I can tell you that the instructions were nice. They were easy, it was quick. And, uh, but you do need help. You do need help. This is massive. This is commercial grade type stuff. And it's just top of the line, just absolutely beautiful. I would call it a piece of art without a doubt. All right, so it's the next day and uh, just got done with a guide trip, a lot of eaters, but we're gonna be testing out the uh, Killer Dock fish cleaning station out for the first time. So you guys are putting the fish in the bucket. There are a few more. We're gonna be cleaning these bad boys on a new fish cleaning station. It's gonna be exciting. Give you my honest opinion, the review of it, but I can tell you it looks beautiful. Check it out. All right, well, me and Ryan are done. Hard work, right? Oh, hard work. It's not it's time to go fishing now. <laughs> it's time to go fishing. So next time Ryan's in town, we're going to definitely try out the fish cleaning station. So there it is, and it's all its glory. Killer Dock, check them out at killerdock.com. And uh, proud to be partners with, up with them. And uh, they, they make a heck of a fish cleaning station, no doubt about it. Well, there you have it, folks. The number one fish cleaning station on my home lake 
and now you have a chance to get one yourself. KillerDoc.com. Check them out, folks. This is top of the line. It literally is a piece of art. It is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I'm talking about a fish cleaning station, folks. I mean, it just doesn't get any prettier than this. You do have the option for sinks. You do have other options that you can put on these fish cleaning stations that i maybe did not choose but i think the drawers were awesome choice and let me tell you you need a great friend like ryan ryan's an awesome dude he helped me out all day with this and uh not all day but the afternoon and we had a great time putting it together it was without a doubt a great experience and i look forward to showing this off to the guide trips throughout the entire season thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies